Welcome back to Padres POV presented by Saquon. It's time now to meet a die-hard Padres fan. Hello, my name is Corey Minotti. I'm the spa manager here at the Hotel Del Coronado. But many of you may know me by a different name. I'm the dancing friar of the right field mission, the Abbott Costello. I believe that we will win. Let's go, come on now, what do you say now, Chuck? We plan to do roll call tonight, ladies and gentlemen, and roll call tends to be loud. I started working here at the Hotel Dell about nine years ago. I was looking for some way to mellow myself out, and working in spas in an iconic hotel like this was just the right fit. Veronica, can you do me a favor? Uh, can you go tell Ruth that her two o'clock is here, Mrs. Smith? Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Part of the fun of working here at the Hotel Del Coronado is the people. I have a great staff that I work with, and on a daily basis, I get to manage them and keep them in a state of bliss so that they themselves can create a sanctuary for our guests. Come on, let me take you around and show you a little bit. Let's take you to the hydrotherapy suite. What a great place. Part of the joy of my job on a daily basis it is creating sanctuary for our guests. Soaps, scrubs, wraps, we do it all here just to please the guest. You know, after a nice spa treatment or a salon service, it's always fun to come down here to the uh, hotel pool, maybe belly up to the bar, have a nice libation. There's nothing more relaxing after a nice massage than having a good drink right here. But you know what? As much zen as we try to create here at the Hotel Dell, it's all I can do to think about going out to the Padre games, robing up, and bringing a little ruckus to San Diego. We're going to go down to the salon now, which can be just as beneficial to you as the spa can. Working in a salon and a spa atmosphere, as you can imagine, is all about tranquility and serenity, which is a bit of a contrast to my life outside of the hotel. My night gig yields something completely different. <laughs> After I get off work, I ride the bus, head over the bridge, walk down to Petco Park. Then I step into the restroom, close the doors, I step out, and the metamorphosis is complete. I'm a dancing friar. It's a call from God. Hold on. St. Peter, it's me. Yes. We've made the transformation to the dancing friars right now, and as you can see, it's a monk and monkey show right now. Que testadura, Bonifacio! Que testadura! Part of the tradition of being in the right field mission is learning some of the chants. Cuga! Roll call is when we start at the beginning of the game. We call the names of the players until they turn around and recognize. Oh, Monte! Oh, Monte! Oh, Monte! Oh, Monte! Otherwise, we don't shut up. What caused me to help create the Dancing Friars of the Right Field Mission was very simple. We needed noise. I got the rhythm. I got the music. Has becoming a Dancing Friar helped me with the ladies? on the pedestal. What are you doing over here? <laughs> you know your job. Get up there. Dance, dance. Oh, we. Even famous San Diegans like Wayne Partello come out here to the mission every once in a while, right? I believe that we will win. I believe that we will win. Famous is a tough word, but yes, I'm excited <laughs> to be here. Where do I see myself in 10 years? Hopefully, in less than 10 years, we'll be hoisting a pennant right up there 
over that flagpole right there. Sooner than that, though, Padres, sooner than that. Coming up, military families take in a little BP, and Yonder Alonso does his part to open up baseball to African-American kids.